All right, welcome back to the Carton Show. Obviously, uh, we're all pumped up. We're giddy. Yeah! Right? Look, even Jordan loves giddy. What's that? That's, that, oh. that's, uh, that's weird. That's um, <laughs> that's a group of men uh, lollygagging through practice is what it looks like they're to me. they fired up already, Craig. They don't need to get warmed up. <laughs> yeah, like, no, not for nothing. What's that? Like, the last great bastion of manhood on this planet is at the NFL. Yes. At NFL locker rooms. Uh, Rick, if you could just come to me on camera here for nope. a second. This Can't does do not it. look... That means you're ready to go, Craig. Yeah. Very manly. It's, it's Hacksaw right Jim up. Duggan. It's uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Like, yeah, Hacksaw. What's next? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna let's skip to let's get ready mm. to practice. That's Big why you're playoff game. The the way, I only do one lap because I get tired at two. <laughs> All right, so Matt Lafleur, of course, is the head coach of the Green Bay Packers. Oh. And he has some uh, some thoughts yeah. on trying to figure out how to beat <laughs> the San Francisco 49ers. That's wow. coach speak for the chin wow. strap. When, the chin strap. when we lose by 40, I don't want anyone to say that I predicted a win <laughs> or that I figured out what San Fran does. He is setting the stage for an, an absolute thrashing by San Francisco. So you're calling a blowout. It's done wow. and done, yes. No chance. No chance. There's nothing, this game's not going to be It's nothing the Packers did against the Cowboys to give them a shot against the No, Cowboys. and I know that you know the, the, all of a sudden the Green Bay Packer fans whose fingers have thawed out from another cold Wisconsin yeah. winner who are now typing me on X, formerly Twitter, <laughs> Saying you said the same thing about but Dallas. Cowboys. Didn't give us a chance at all to beat Dallas. And they smacked all the right, ball. I, I got that one wrong. Guilty as charged, oh, but right. I never get it wrong twice in a row. Look, you're a 10-point underdog man for a reason. And I know they haven't played in three weeks. And I know that right now uh -huh. you feel the momentum, you know, with, with that huge offensive output in week 18 to barely get by Time the out. Chicago Bears. Yeah. Time out. So you were wrong about the Packers and Cowboys. Yeah, I couldn't fine. have been more wrong. However, my friend really was right. Right! However. What? Are you picking the Packers over the Niners? No. No. Uh, okay, I just want to be clear on this. I just want to be clear on this. Okay. Yeah, and nobody should look. I, I, there's a difference between fandom and then actually looking at a game objectively. Every Green Bay Packer fan, I get it, should feel like the Green Bay Packers are going to be the team of destiny. They're going to go into San Francisco. They're going to be, you know, the Russ first rest nonsense yeah. from yesterday. They're going to be rusty. We're going to get to Brock Purdy. We're going to, you know, skip to my Lou at practice. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to go in there and we're going to set the world on fire. Fire, bang, and we're going to beat San Francisco. But then at some point, some point, you gotta wake objective up. reality has to set in. And objective reality is you are in a different league than San Francisco. You were a 9-8 and eight football team that needed a Week 18 win at home against the Chicago Bears to get into the playoffs. Yeah. The win against Dallas was your Super Bowl. You're going to be embarrassed this weekend. Yeah, and at the end of the day, I think if you're the Green Bay Packers, you can turn on the Baltimore tape and say, oh, look what they did. But that's yeah. the problem is you're not the Baltimore Ravens. Right. That's a different outfit with different players who are actually who are actually ready for that fight. I think what scares the uh, Green Bay Packers is when you put the Niners, when the Niners go into their empty package and they take Christian McCaffrey out of the backfield and they throw him in a slot, it's a matchup hell for everybody. For everybody, Because right. you got Debo, Brandon Ayu, Kittle, and now you have CMC in a, in a, in a slot. And not everybody can match up well. So, and Brock Purdy knows what to do with the football. Now, is he susceptible to the blitz? 100%. But Purdy, when he's hot, he's the best quarterback in the league, if not the best. You're so, going to see gonna be what is going to be best described as a surgical offense. Yeah. It's going to be like a SEAL Team 6. I agree. It is going to be we are picking apart Green Bay, and there's going to be no meat left on the carcass when we're done. And I want to be clear. I don't dislike Green Bay. I've got some well, admiration. you don't sound like you like him. You didn't no, pick him no, twice. You said I, they I got him out their fingers. I, I just got to be honest. I got to call it the way I see it. I know Murphy and Gutenschrinkter, Kuntz, whatever his name is, <laughs> uh, are thrilled that they advanced because they did something Aaron Rodgers didn't do yeah. last year. I'm good with all of it. I have no negative feelings at all towards the great people of Green Bay and the big girls that once served me hot cheddar cheese soup. I oh, liked wow. it. Oh, it's good soup. You, a, little, uh, little, a little jalapeno broccoli, on top. Broccoli, broccoli cheddar? Uh, broccoli cheddar? Uh, yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah. The number? In, in any, in, in any <laughs> event, it, this game is not going to be competitive. Much more until later yeah. in the show. And, of course, uh, tomorrow as we give our picks, or the guys will at least, on the game. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And, by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out, too.